Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture we are going to discuss about Apache Zeppelin which is nothing but a web based tool which enables us for interactive analytics on top of our big data. So without further ado, let's get into it. So so far we have talked about the core components of Hadoop which works under the hood to process our big data. And we also seen some other services which can be well integrated with our Hadoop ecosystem like the NoSQL databases as well as some of the different data processing tools which are more efficient than the MapReduce such as Apache Spark. But Zeppelin is something different. It lets us create notebooks on top of these different technologies. So if you are familiar with Jupyter Notebook then you probably understand what really is Apache Zeppelin. So so far for running our Spark code or Hive code we need to download the files from our GitHub repository and then we are either submitting it through a command line like for example for spark job we have usually submitted it by using the spark submit command but apache zeppelin provides us the more interactive way to do the data analytics on top of our data and it also well integrates with variety of tools that we are going to discuss in the next topic and the most important point is it collaborates with sql scala python and so many more languages but you will really understand it more properly in the next tutorial when we will get our hand dirty and create some Apache Zeppelin notebook on top of our data. But first let's discuss some of the features of Zeppelin. So the first feature is it is well integrated with Apache Spark. So there are so many interpreters are available for Zeppelin but especially Zeppelin provides built in Spark integration. So we don't need to worry about building a separate module or library for it. It will just work and you don't need to worry about setting up Apache Spark and the configuration hassle which you will definitely face if you are deploying Apache Spark on your local system. And it will also provide you the automatic Spark context and SQL context injection. And also you can see the progress and cancel job in a more interactive way. The next feature is its interactive interface. So Zeppelin has an interactive interface which allows us for instantly see the result of our analytics and we can have the immediate connection with our creation. So we can get the graphical representation of our data so that we'll get more insights from our data analytics. The next one is we can create notebooks and it can run on your browser. So it can run on your machine or remotely as well and we can experiment with different types of charts for exploring our data sets and also it dynamically creates the input forms right into your notebook so it is also a big advantage and the most important one is collaboration and sharing so Zeppelin has a very diverse and vibrant developer community which will give us the access to new data sources which are being constantly added and distributed through their open source license. So our notebook URL can be shared among different collaborators and it will broadcast any changes in real time just like in the Google Docs which you already may be familiar with and we can also easily embed it in our website as well. So these are some main features of Apache Zeppelin and why it makes it very popular choice among the developers. And if you talk about data science, it is very popular tool to get some meaningful insights from our big data. So in the conventional method, instead of making any changes in the scripts and then running it on the command line, Zeppelin is more appropriate choice and easier option for the developers. And especially data scientists who need some interactive and visualize their data to get meaning out of it. So the main advantage of using Zeppelin is it has the multiple language backend. So what it means is this allows any language or any data processing backend to get well integrated with the Zeppelin. So as you can see in this figure, there are so many tools that can easily integrate with Zeppelin. So most of the services which we have already discussed such as Cassandra, Hive, SDFS, Edgebase, Python. So we can connect the services to the Zeppelin and we can write our code in our notebook and run it in more interactive way. So it is way more efficient and fun than running the scripts from the command line. So in the next lecture, we are going to analyze our big data by using the Zeppelin notebook and we'll try to analyze our ratings database where we have like the user's data as well as the ratings data and movies data. So we'll analyze these files to get some meaning out of it. So this was just some basic overview of what is Zeppelin 
and how it works and if you have any doubts understanding it just let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching